Chelsea Hoagland from Bellevue East here. Um, I'm going to tell you a few things that I learned today in Apple Foundations training. The first being um, what I'm using right now, which is QuickTime Player, to create a screencast. Um, this is a great way to make videos, um, especially since I'm flipping my math classroom as we speak. This would be a great way for me to to make a video if I need or show them a website or show them what I'm, I'm needing them to do. Um, the next thing I learned today was AirDrop, which comes in really handy. So if you go to Macintosh HD, um, over here on this left side you click on AirDrop. So you can see this is me, if there was someone else in the room with me, maybe that I wanted to share material with, like during collaboration or something, their face would be here and I could just click and drop files and then send them that way rather than emailing a lot of files which sometimes take a lot of a lot of time and a lot of space or if I want to do this for multiple people. So AirDrop is a, a neat feature that I learned about today. Um, another feature that I learned about today was the preview. So if you have um, a PDF, let's say, and you pull up the PDF, you can do a lot of things in preview that I never thought possible. So if I click on this annotations toolbar, um, I can highlight certain things if I want. I can look up words and definitions. I can, like you can see, I made a, a little bubble here. This would be great, especially if, if your kids are turning things in through the drive and you're going completely paperless. This is a good way to still be able to give them feedback on their papers without having to print anything out. Um, lots of awesome tools you can use with this in the preview annotation. The next thing I'm going to talk about is in Safari call it the text-to-speech. So if I'm in Safari and you're in a website or you have an article that you want the kids to read or you want maybe something read to the kids or a word that you, they don't know how to pronounce, you can just copy and paste it and then double click on it and go to speech, start speaking. Get the math is about algebra in the real world. And it just speaks See it how for professionals them. use math in music, fashion, video games. Uh, if you go to system preferences, you can change the voice and speed it up or slow it down. Um, this could be great too in language classes if you want them to hear the accents or um, drama if they're trying to get into a character. Um, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is sticky notes. I love sticky notes. Um, I use them as you can see. I have a few of them already on my on my screen right now. So just little notes I like to leave for myself and I can make more like if I'm in basketball season, I'll always have a sticky note that's just for basketball or a sticky note just for my algebra or a sticky note just for my algebra basic. Um, so stickies are wonderful little reminders that you can keep up on your desktop. And then the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is iTunes. Um, I learned a lot about iTunes that I never even thought possible. For instance, iTunes U, um, there's classes on here. So if I ever just want to... Uh, show my students not only just a video from me teaching them but they can watch someone else teaching it as well or um, you can go to podcasts which I downloaded the TED Talks podcast today so I'm subscribed to that now so you can listen to the different podcasts um, lots of cool things that you can add into a flipped classroom if you want maybe to start your day with having the kids just listen to a podcast and then that being the or even before they even get to class, have them listen to it, and then that's the discussion for the next day. So that's what I learned today. I look forward to learning a lot more these next five days. Thanks.